September 9. Exiles who returned with Zerubbabel. Here is the list of the Jewish exiles of the provinces who returned from their captivity. King Nebuchadnezzar had deported them to Babylon, but now they returned to Jerusalem and the other towns in Judah where they originally lived. Their leaders were Zerubbabel, Jeshua, Nehemiah, Sireah, Realiah, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mizpar, Bigvai, Rehum, and Bana. This is the number of the men of Israel who returned from exile. The family of Perosh, 2,172. The family of Shephatiah, 372. The family of Era, 775. The family of Pehath Moab, descendants of Jeshua and Joab, 2,812. The family of Elam, 1,254. The family of Zatu, 945. The family of Zachai, 760. The family of Bani, 642. The family of Bibai, 623. The family of Asgad, 1,222. The family of Adonikam, 666. The family of Bigvai, 2,056. The family of Aden, 454. The family of Ater, descendants of Hezekiah, 98. The family of Bezai, 323. The family of Jorah, 112. The family of Hashem, 223. The family of Gibar, 95. The people of Bethlehem, 123. The people of Natopha, 56. The people of Anathoth, 128. The people of Beth Asmaveth, 42. The people of Kiriath Jerem, Kephirah, and Beeroth, 743. The people of Ramah and Geba, 621. The people of Michmash, 122. The people of Bethel and Ai, 223. The citizens of Nebo, 52. The citizens of Magbish, 156. The citizens of Elam, 1,254. The citizens of Harem, 320. The citizens of Lod, Hadid, and Ono, 725. The citizens of Jericho, 345. The citizens of Sinea, 3,630. These are the priests who returned from exile. The family of Jediah through the line of Jeshua, 973. The family of Immer, 1,052. The family of Pashur, 1,247. The family of Haram, 1,017. These are the Levites who returned from exile. The families of Jeshua and Cadmiel, descendants of Hodaviah, 74. The singers of the family of Asaph, 128. The gatekeepers of the families of Shalom, Ater, Talman, Akub, Hattaita, and Shobai, 139. The descendants of the following temple servants returned from exile. Ziha, Hasepha, Tobiath, Kiros, Siaha, Padan, Labana, Hagaba, Akab, Hagab, Shalmai, Hanan, Gidel, Gehar, Riaiah, Rezan, Nikoda, Gazam, Uza, Pasia, Bezai, Asna, Meunim, Nefusim, Bakbuk, Hakapha, Herher, Basluth, Mehida, Hersha, Barkus, Sisera, Tima, Neziah, and Hatipha. The descendants of these servants of King Solomon returned from exile. Sotai, Hesophereth, Peruda, Jela, Darkon, Giddel, Shephatiah, Hattel, Pokereth, Hazabaim, and Amai. In all, the temple servants and the descendants of Solomon's servants numbered 392. Another group returned at this time from the towns of Telmela, Telhersha, Kirub, Aden, and Immer. However, they could not prove that they or their families were descendants of Israel. This group included the families of Delaiah, Tobiah, and Nakota, a total of 652 people.
Three families of priests, Hobaiah, Hakaz, and Barzillai, also returned. This Barzillai had married a woman who was a descendant of Barzillai of Gilead, and he had taken her family name. They searched for their names in the genealogical records, but they were not found, so they were disqualified from serving as priests. The governor told them not to eat the priest's share of food from the sacrifices until a priest could consult the Lord about the matter by using the Urim and Thummim the sacred lots. So a total of 42,360 people returned to Judah, in addition to 7,337 servants and 200 singers, both men and women. They took with them 736 horses, 245 mules, 435 camels, and 6,720 donkeys. When they arrived at the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem, some of the family leaders made voluntary offerings toward the rebuilding of God's temple on its original site, and each leader gave as much as he could. The total of their gifts came to 61,000 gold coins, 6,250 pounds of silver, and 100 robes for the priests. So the priests, the Levites, the singers, the gatekeepers, the temple servants, and some of the common people settled in villages near Jerusalem. The rest of the people returned to their own towns throughout Israel. The Altar is Rebuilt In early autumn, when the Israelites had settled in their towns, all the people assembled in Jerusalem with a unified purpose— Then Jeshua, son of Jehozadak, joined his fellow priests and Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, with his family in rebuilding the altar of the God of Israel. They wanted to sacrifice burnt offerings on it, as instructed in the law of Moses, the man of God. Even though the people were afraid of the local residents, they rebuilt the altar at its old site. Then they began to sacrifice burnt offerings on the altar to the Lord each morning and evening. They celebrated the festival of shelters as prescribed in the law, sacrificing the number of burnt offerings specified for each day of the festival. They also offered the regular burnt offerings and the offerings required for the new moon celebrations and the annual festivals as prescribed by the Lord. The people also gave voluntary offerings to the Lord. Fifteen days before the festival of shelters began, the priests had begun to sacrifice burnt offerings to the Lord. This was even before they had started to lay the foundation of the Lord's temple. Then the people hired masons and carpenters and bought cedar logs from the people of Tyre and Sidon, paying them with food, wine, and olive oil. The logs were brought down from the Lebanon mountains and floated along the coast of the Mediterranean Sea to Joppa, for King Cyrus had given permission for this. The people begin rebuilding the temple. The construction of the temple of God began in mid-spring during the second year after they arrived in Jerusalem. The workforce was made up of everyone who had returned from exile, including Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, Jeshua, son of Jehozadak, and his fellow priests, and all the Levites. The Levites who were twenty years old or older were put in charge of rebuilding the Lord's temple. The workers at the temple of God were supervised by Jeshua with his sons and relatives, and Cadmiel and his sons, all descendants of Hodaviah. They were helped in this task by the Levites of the family of Henadad. When the builders completed the foundation of the Lord's temple, the priests put on their robes and took their places to blow their trumpets. And the Levites, descendants of Asaph, clashed their cymbals to praise the Lord, just as King David had prescribed. With praise and thanks, they sang this song to the Lord. He is so good, his faithful love for Israel endures forever. Then all the people gave a great shout, praising the Lord, because the foundation of the Lord's temple had been laid. But many of the older priests, Levites, and other leaders who had seen the first temple wept aloud when they saw the new temple's foundation. The others, however, were shouting for joy. The joyful shouting and weeping mingled together in a loud noise that could be heard far in the distance. Enemies Oppose the Rebuilding The enemies of Judah and Benjamin heard that the exiles were rebuilding a temple to the Lord, the God of Israel. So they approached Zerubbabel and the other leaders and said, Let us build with you, for we worship your God just as you do. We have sacrificed to him ever since King Esarhaddon of Assyria brought us here. But Zerubbabel, Jeshua, and the other leaders of Israel replied, You may have no part in this work. We alone will build the temple for the Lord, the God of Israel, 
just as King Cyrus of Persia commanded us. Then the local residents tried to discourage and frighten the people of Judah to keep them from their work. They bribed agents to work against them and to frustrate their plans. This went on during the entire reign of King Cyrus of Persia and lasted until King Darius of Persia took the throne. Zerubbabel's Descendants The sons of Zerubbabel were Meshulam and Hananiah. Their sister was Shelemith. His five other sons were Hashubah, Ohel, Berechiah, Hezadiah, and Jushab Hesed. The sons of Hananiah were Pelatiah and Jeshaiah. Jeshaiah's son was Raphaiah. Raphaiah's son was Arnan. Arnan's son was Obadiah. Obadiah's son was Shechaniah. The descendants of Shechaniah were Shemaiah and his sons Hatush, Egal, Beriah, Neriah, and Shaphat, six in all. The sons of Neriah were Elioenai, Hizkiah, and Azrakam, three in all. The sons of Elioenai were Hodaviah, Eliashib, Peleah, Akub, Johanan, Delaiah, and Anani, seven in all.